Are we going to be trading in our two wheelers for three propellers? Hey, I'm V and this is the Technopiles Newscast. An aeronautics enthusiast group in Hungary is making a flying bike. The group calls the project Flike. Flying bike. But they're making a flying bike, so I'm going to let that one slide. The project began as a concept for a personal flying device. There's three rotors with three sets of propellers that are set in a circle around the pilot. The Flike is a tricopter, but I like to call it a floater cycle or a tri -flicle. The concept for it is that it's all electric and has zero emissions. So it's powered by lithium polymer batteries and that's it. In the stage it's at now, that battery can give it about 15 to 20 minutes of hovering and about 40 minutes of gliding. To increase efficiency, each rotor is powered by its own electrical disc motor. A video they recorded back in March of a test run of the flag has just been released this month and is getting pretty popular. And to be fair, it's a pretty cool video. I mean, it's like a guy who's dressed like a bike trooper from Star Wars riding like some weird hodgepodge of three RC helicopters and like hovering in a field. So the pilot of the flight is seated in between the three propellers on a motorcycle style seat. And it's kind of terrifying because unlike the concept art, all the propellers are exposed. He's like this far away from being like minced, like flycyclist. So about half the comments on the video are worried about him falling off and falling into the blades but the flight actually runs pretty steadily. The bike lifts off the ground about a foot and a half and then stays in the air, getting pushed around by the wind just a little bit for a minute and 31 seconds and then lands again. And I guess that's a big deal. So even though this video is getting kind of big, one of the real reasons for it is to draw attention from investors. So if you go to their website, what is flight.com, there's actually a section of that website that's for investors that's password protected. That's super interesting, suspicious. Weird. A lot of people are comparing this project to the speeder bikes from Star Wars, you know, the third one that wasn't as great as the other two. Han Solo turns into a weird weenie man. But the only resemblance I see is that the guy riding it looks like a bike trooper. So we're on our way to flying bikes, but we don't have flying cars yet. Yet we have cars that can drive themselves and park themselves. Isn't that kind of weird how in Back to the Future the cars can fly? but humans still have to drive them. So who knows, in the future, maybe people will be commuting to work on flying bikes. Just watch out for the trees. So if you were getting the chance to fly a flight, would you do it? Or would you get freaked out by the spinning blades of doom? Let us know in the comments below. Or you can tweet it at us at Technophiles Pod. You can also check us out on Facebook by searching Technophiles Podcast or go to our website, technophilespodcast.com. You can listen to me and my friends talk about technology. It's super great. I'll see you on Friday. Bye. So if a flying bike is a flake, would a flying plane be a flame? Would a flying bird be a flurd? I guess flying fish would be then flying flish. Uh, Superman would be flooperman, because he can fly. Sandy doesn't fly. What is flake.com?